<coughs> Amen chaps, peas and gravy uh, Productions, I haven't done a, a video for a while But uh, a friend has asked us to, to strip his um, king rat He's going to um, get it painted and coated um, Cerakoted I think it is So we'll just uh, show you how we strip it down It's mainly to show you the hidden breech screw um, that's the main object of the exercise so we'll start off with the basics taking this stock off and uh, there are bits and pieces which is uh, probably already well aware of um, but it's mainly just to show the hidden breech screw and how I tackle it so we'll start off with taking the, the stock off there's been a uh, 12G adapter on the back that just screws off, it's neither here nor there, it's not in the way but I'll strip it anyway, it comes off um, underneath flat blade screwdriver take the four stop off as you know um, the Crossman 22 range are pretty modular uh, once you strip one there's very little differences in them uh, which makes it a lot easier when you come to do other models there's not a lot of uh, companies do that so as, you, as you, you remember when you take the trigger frame off you've got the ball bearing and the, the spring so you just want to be gently careful when you take the, this front screw because you can scratch the front uh, frame of the trigger <coughs> turn it over thumb in you can work out there hold it tight take the rear screw out Only very short screw, so it doesn't take much. There it is. Turn it back over, and away you go. Screw comes out, and there's your safety spring and safety indent, all intact. Didn't fly over all over. Didn't lose a thing. Everything's fine. Put that at one side. CO, dummy CO2 front, take that off. It's not necessary. Off it comes. Uh, trusty Allen keys. Um, take the uh, Front barrel band, a couple of turns, it should come loose. That's uh, it's got an upgrade on the barrel band, it's uh, I've done it for it. It's had an, an extra grub screw added on the front of the barrel band, see it just there. That's uh, one of my mods to help tighten the barrel band up. Um, Right, side ports, I need to take these off. Bear with us, I'm more fingers and thumbs. Take, take the sides off. What you'll find is, I'll show you in a second, is the caps, the end caps, are not, they're not directional so it doesn't matter which way around they go, what does matter is the bolts, it's the bolt length that, 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 that matters. 
So the rear one, very short, front one much longer because it passes all the way through and into the back of the valve. But just be aware that the caps out, the ends are interchangeable, it doesn't matter which way around the, the bar goes, or the tube, or the ends, it doesn't matter. What matters is, is the bolts. A little short one there for the back, longer one there for the front of the valve. And the seal. That seal there, it's a, it's, it's two seals in fact. You've got a plain seal on its own, which goes face down into the valve, and then you've got a, a, a seal within the centre that actually comes out. Believe it or not, that seal comes out of there, like so. So it's a three part seal that goes valve down, that sits on top of it, and then you've got an o ring that goes inside of that, and that's a three part seal. That's the order it goes in one, two, three. One, two, three. So there's your sandwich, and that goes face down. The rear one is just an o ring, just a plain o ring, nothing fancy, because it's just Sorry about that. The rear one there just seals face to face. That's all that does, face to face. So you've got your just just set up. Right. So next, um, take the rear end cap off, which holds your hammer spring in. On the king rats so you've got the top and bottom screw but you've also got the side screw and that's to help left or right movement or stop it stop left or right movement so two side screws out and then the big top screw bear in mind this is under pressure from the hammer spring so keep tension on it as i'm doing with my hand so you move the screw and then that comes away with your hammer spring intact. That's your end block. So now this is the bit what we'll, we need to be looking at. Because when you cock the, the gun, which go all the way back, the end cap will come out, which will, which will give you the clearance to take the rear screw out. This one has been modified. It's got a front one, but the rear one is on the King Rat in the XL 2250s. But this has been modified. Um, you'll probably see when we open it up. But that's how you do it. You take the end cap off, pull it back, and that will reveal the screw. So we'll still want the uh, Remove the screw, which is a 50 thou Allen key, standard one on here, and that should just lift off. There we go. And there's an uprated transfer port Allen key. Scrub screws out, and then your TP comes out. That's probably reusable. Hammer pin, hammer, and you're left with a valve. Valve screw. The valve will come out. There's the valve. Now this is a genuine 
ES2250, not a B2250, so it's a genuine tube, but it's got a front um, breech screw, which is quite a rarity. I haven't come across many of these. Normally these are rear, or they have double, but it's normally rear. That's why I wanted to show you. Um, but it gives you an idea how to do it. You have to release the end bolt, that sorry, the end cap, to allow the, the, the bolt and the probe to come all the way back. If you take the pro the hammer, sorry, if you take the bolt out, you've still got enough room to allow it to come even further back. And you can do that while it's still on the gun, while the hammer pins in, because you've got you've got room for that. That should come out, there we go. And then obviously you strip your barrel, barrel comes out. Three screws. Out it comes. Barrel band off. When you're down here, well, apart from removing your silencer, you're pretty much down as far as you need to be going. Unless, of course, there's a seal in here and that goes. Uh, you can replace that but that's a quite sizable job splitting them two you need um not normal pair of pliers will get it you need a vice and other bits and pieces so you don't mark it but put a bit of leather around there leather strap and you can get it that way on but that's a king rat stripped it's a shame it didn't have the rear breech the hidden rear breech screw because i would have liked to have shown you how it worked how you how it hides it and then you need to how, how it strip it but you get the idea um, this is all going to go off to get Cerakoted, uh, so when it comes back, I'll have it all in nice colours and uh, be properly hard wearing, and uh, hopefully you'll, you'll be able to see us put it all back together again. In the meantime, hopefully I can get me brass stumpy pistol put back together, and you can see how that goes back together. But in the meantime, there's an idea how you strip a king rat. Hope it helps. Cheers for watching. Till next time.